What up, Buzz Dons? So we just got finished one dope tutorial on how to make some dope shoes. We just made some dope Air Forces. Really cool shoes. Hope you guys check that video out. Um, should be somewhere there or there. Um, now, we're going to focus on another shoe. So I seen this on the... Uh, fuck, what is his name? Y'all know who I'm talking about. He probably going to pop up on the side anyway. But um, he had basically did like a, a, a sock shoe in his video. He tried, it was like a mock Vatmont shoe. Really cool video, so I was like, I definitely gotta do that. So shout out to him. I would definitely link his video below. Um, so for this sock shoe, I wanted to get like some thick socks right here. And I like gray socks, because I already have like black Vatmonts, black Balenciagas, red Balenciagas, or burgundy Balenciagas. And then I got like the black Fendi one. So I didn't want to do a white sock, because just white socks just like not my vibe. And I didn't want to like show toe. <laughs> um, so we got some Fruit of the Loom work gear, because they're pretty much a little thicker. Um, heavy duty crew socks and um, I actually got these off of Amazon. I'm not sure if the actual link will be work it, working, but I can uh, definitely um, I can definitely get these for you guys. For you guys. If not, they also sell them at Walmart. I know that because I was in Walmart when I seen these, but I, I, I'm cheap as fuck, so I didn't get them. I um, ordered them from Amazon because Amazon was cheap and I got Prime. If you order at an early time, you can get it the same day, but I got mine the next day because you save money that way too. Um, so then we got these shoes right here from Walmart as well. Um, I'm not really sure what they're called. It says Athletic Works, and they're like these memory foam sneakers. They remind me of the Vans that Vans made, um, and they were only $9.98. $9.98, yep, see? $9.98. Let me show you how to tag. Focus. Focus on. All right. And so, by, by the way, it's a really cool shoe. So, if you're someone who doesn't really um, like to spend a lot of money on shoes, this shoe, as is, is a really dope shoe. But we're going to fuck this shoe up today. So, what we're going to attempt to do is take this shoe out of the sole, like this, the upper, and detach it from the sole. And then, uh, basically, use this um, bottom for a sock shoe. And if you look like this. It could be a Balenciaga under here, you know, somewhat, a little bit. I think it could be a Balenciaga, somewhat, you know. So, I'm really excited to do this, and let's just jump right into it, because this might be a lengthy process. So, let's jump right into it. Take the sole out. See those threads in the inside? Let me show you this a little bit. See those threads in the inside? We're going to take all them threads out. Hopefully, I'll loosen it up some, and then we're going to get the sole detached from the glue. If you see, it's some glue right there. So we're gonna try to get these two apart. It looked like it's gonna be harder than I thought though because of the foam. I like they got it on there pretty good, but nothing's permanent. So let's see if we can do this. So right now we're literally just taking the X-Acto knife and trying to cut up any stitches that we can. Just to try to get the shoe a little looser than it is. And I don't wanna really rip the shoe, so I kinda wanted to come off perfectly. That base sole that's on top of the styrofoam that we see just on the inside. So we want to keep this hard part right here. But we don't need anything else. Dropping off my grades, riding around my lovely town. Binge is on my mind. Sun shining, I'm on my grind. I ain't gonna slow down. Well, I'm wasting my time. I got the game all on my side. Ain't nobody. So you can see all of these stitches are still intact. So the moral of the story is if you get a lot of these stitches out in the beginning, you won't have really that much trouble at any other part of the shoe. <laughs> Alright, now let's just get this out of here. Let me get this out of here. Woohoo! Look at this! Woohoo! Yeah! 
such a couple piece of styrofoam, y'all. Like, this styrofoam right here is mad comfy. <laughs> and now we got a base. Do, 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 do. And anything you feel like probably need to be cleaned up, you know, you could be the judge. If you want to do anything to the socks, I would recommend getting yourself a piece of square cardboard that were kind of like, you know, way bigger than what it is because sock stretch one. So you would want to put it in there. One sock stretch, but then two, you gotta think about it like on your leg, it stretches. So you always want to be mindful of that. You just put it on there. If you want to do like a design on it or something like that, this is how I would recommend to do it. So, but for us, we just want to go for like a basic sock look. Now this is about to be tedious as fuck, but basically we're gonna put the sole into the sock. Ain't nobody can't stop me now. Spend it on diamonds and gold chains. I don't need them now. I'm just trying to stay entertained now. Got a lot of powers. I'm trying to be the main thing. Show a little love to keep pushing. I can't be chained down. Stay in line. Baby, give me some time now. Don't be mad at me now. Automatic swag can't be mad that I'm just doing my thing. Take a look at my. My foot is inside the sock. The sole is there. This so you can try it on. And then put your foot. On there just to give you an idea of what it'll feel like. Be really mindful of the placement when you're gluing. Alright, so we're getting our hot glue gun ready. You know, our hot gun, glue gun, pussy pink. But it still got them rounds, still bust shots. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case is. And so, we're gonna start with the toe of ours because, as you can see, it's this little toe part. Just like a lot of um, your favorite ones, like the Balenciagas, the Vermonts, they all got like a little toe part. Kind of just adds like a, I don't know, it's a toe stopper. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But in short, so you definitely want to start with this part, in my opinion, just so that way the toe is executed perfectly. And then you will go around. So we're going to put glue at the top here, and here, and here, and here. And we're going to do it little by little, but a lot of it. And we're going to press it down, press it down, let it dry, and then just work our way back. You see what I'm saying? And so basically, y'all, we just made a fucking sock shoe. Can y'all believe we made a sock shoe? I'm proud of myself. So this is pretty much what the shoe looks like. Look kind of soggy, but this is literally how the Vetmont look too. Like the only one that kind of holds the shape is the Fendi one and the um, Balenciaga one. But this really, I like, kind of like the Vetmont. But of course, they use like a neoprene sock versus like a regular sock for real, for real. So in short. We really made a fucking sock shoe. Gold chain on swing. I've been doing my thing so good. She went down to the shop and got a tattoo of my name. So clap for me, clap for me, clap for me. Baby, throw it back for me. No, I got stacks on me, racks on me. Party out by the ocean. Everything in motion. I play first base, I play quarterback, I play point guard, and I'm coaching. Feeling good, living right. Superman, no clip tonight. Juice and gin, no clip tonight. Girl, you gon' get some dick tonight. Then I'm going tomorrow on the plane. Back home, then I'm going again. Moving, baby, y'all moving, baby. Get on my level. On, on the train, finally living my dream. Breaking bread with my team. I'm motivated, we motivated. My gold chain don't gleam, baby. Get money. And of course, if y'all seen it on feet, then y'all already know that it looks cool. It's not like too bad off. So if you definitely want an alternative, this is what I'm talking about when I say like not having on something fake because you could do something crazy with this. You could go get a wild ass sock and make a sock shoe that won't look like, oh, I'm knocking off Balenciaga or something like that, even though, I mean, and it's all in the same round, but I feel like when you create something yourself, it isn't something that somebody sold to you with the intention of being a knockoff or being that type of thing. I think it's super cool. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was a lot of work ripping that sole off. Um, the glue part was kind of tedious after a while, but um, it definitely works. Hot glue, E6000 glue, I think each would work. I prefer the hot glue, but I did go in at some parts and probably would add like a little E6000. And of course, you can come back and clean up some of the other parts. Um, I would recommend getting a very thick sock. This is a pretty thick sock, but I could have got a thicker sock. Um, and if you go up, not in size, but if you go up in sock size maybe, because I know sometimes they got like different sock sizes. But I like the sock with the toe. Some people might not like that. I really did like this. I think it would look much cleaner in like maybe a black sock. But then it looks like you're on a Balenciaga. Um, overall, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I probably already said, just make sure y'all stay untouchable. Godspeed.